Hey, today I'm going to show you how to create a wet surface or texture in Blender. First, we need to understand what makes a texture wet. And actually, all there is to it is the roughness and metallic slider. If we put the roughness slider to zero, we can already see the texture gets super wet. It also helps if the specular slider is set all the way to one. If we put this to zero, the effect is not there. So we also need to have the specular to one. Now the metallic slider also increases this wetness, so if we put this to 1, you can see it gets even more reflective. But be careful, don't put it all the way to 1, because at this point it looks super weird, so just stay in the range of 0.6 or 7. Now if we understand the fundamentals, we want to create small puddles of water or wet spots. Therefore I add in a musgrave texture. All a Musgrave texture does is create a black-white filter with these small spots. You can get super creative with playing around with the scale, detail, dimension and the last slider down here. I don't know how to pronounce it. And this gives you all the options you could imagine for creating wet water spots. Now all we have to do is connect this Musgrave texture into the roughness setting. If we look closely now, we can already see we have some wet and also some dry spots, but we want to increase this effect. Therefore, we add in a color ramp node. Let's put the color ramp in between the Musgrave texture and the roughness slider. In this color ramp node, we can move the black slider up and the white slider down to increase the dry or the wet spots. We can also switch the black and white color to create smaller puddles of wet spots. So far so good. If we want to increase this effect now by increasing the metallic slider, we can do this, but as you can see, the whole texture gets darkened and the metallic effect also gets applied to the dry spots. But we don't want that, we only want the metallic effect to be seen in the wet spots. So therefore, we also connect the color ramp to the metallic slider, but now it's the exact opposite. Only the dry spots get the metallic effect and not the puddle. So we also have to add in an invert color node in between the color ramp and the metallic slider. And as you can see now, the effect gets applied to the wet spots. As explained before, don't apply a metallic factor of 1, go back to maybe 0.7 or 0.6. And as you can see now, you have created some wet spots. All you have to do now is play around with the scale, the dimension and the loss setting down here and you have created successfully a wet surface or texture. The cool thing about this technique is you can apply this to all the other textures you have. So let's check out this stone texture I created before. As you can see in here we also have the basic setup of the material and the musgrave texture with the color ramp and invert node in the roughness and metallic. And if we zoom in here we can see we have some wet spots on the stone and also some dry spots. You can also play around with the scale in here or change the detail or whatever you like and it gets updated in real time. If you want to know how I created this ultra realistic 3D texture in here, check out my last tutorial where I explain everything on how to create these type of textures. I hope you could learn something today with this wet texture technique. If you have some questions, just leave them in comments and I see you the next time. Peace out.